guys, welcome to Wave Squadron. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're here for the season three premiere of The Mandalorian. Thanks everybody for checking out the new Star Wars channel. We're very excited about his future and uh, Mandalorian obviously is a great jumping on point for all things Star Wars because Fantastic. this is a show that I think uh, a lot of fans rallied around whenever it premiered Yeah, and uh, I'm just so excited for today. I've been just sitting here like with energy as we gotta get ready. Uh, no. <laughs> just the other day I watched uh, season two episode one and I was like, man, this show's so fun. Uh, yeah. it's, 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 so, it's so good, I love it. Yeah, so last time uh, on The Mandalorian, we had The Rescue, where mm -hmm. Luke Skywalker came and got Grogu, and then we had a journey uh, with the Book of Boba Fett, yeah. and Mando yes. had a big, big, big part in two episodes of that, and we got a little bit uh, more of that story, and now... Who knows? Mando is back with Grogu. Mm -hmm. They have an N1 Starfighter, which is upgraded. It's the best ship I could think of in terms yeah. of like, like, you know, what would be a cool like snub fighter, starfighter for Mando to have? An N1 that's all retrofitted. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like it a lot. I'm excited to see uh, the whole this whole season. Just we've seen a trailer, so we had some little ideas of what's going to be happening. Yep. But it, all of it just piqued my interest so much. Uh, the idea of Becoming Mandalorian again because he took off his helmet. So yeah. we gotta fix mm -hmm. that issue. I'm excited to go back to Mandalore and get the water in the cave or whatever we gotta do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the, the caverns under uh, under Mandalore. He's an apostate right now. Uh, it feels like Grogu was really whenever he lost his his identity as a Mandalorian. He's like, who am I? What am I? Man, I miss that kid. That's all he had at that point, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I think it makes a lot of sense that uh, things went down the way they went. But I'm interested to see where we go from here. We fought a rancor. We did. Also, guys, make sure that you're checking out the full-length reaction, which is available to everybody because of the first episode of the season. See if that's something that you're interested in. It's one of the perks that we offer over at our Patreon uh, rewards for uh, support. So check that out. If it's something that you're interested in, consider getting it and have it for the entire season, slash also the book of Boba Fett, slash every Star Wars thing we've ever done, which you can check out in the playlist of this channel right now. Mm -hmm. Every Star Wars reaction is up on this right now. So... All right, anything else? I think that's it. Mando! Uh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Bloop. That's gotta be the living water, right? But it, we talked about that last time. It glowed time. blue. Yeah. It doesn't seem like normal water. She's making a helmet, isn't she? Yeah. Bring me more foundlings. <laughs> I wonder if this is Din's helmet. It is. Every Mandalorian has that visor. <laughs> Not everyone, but. Okay. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a. Oh, that's a, okay, that's cool. A, that's a kid's seat. Yeah. That's a kid's one. That's the thicker visor. Whoa. It still could be. We're seeing like a. Like, what? You think it's his? <laughs> yeah, that it could be. Maybe. Look at all the great colors. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> Man, they all know exactly how long to wait. It's From this like... moment on, I shall never remove my helmet. From this moment on, I shall never... Uh-oh. This would never be a What the heck? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh. Shoot it! <laughs> it's a giant fucking crocodile! Well, it's a turtle croc. Oh, cool. Oh, I think he's gonna punch him. You stupid turtle! <laughs> <laughs> you ruined our baptism! Oh. Man, I think it tanks him. Last one was great. Tanks him explosions, too. Oh! Oh! Great! Oh, death roll! Oh, no. That's horrible. Yeah, it does. Get in there with a hammer. Get! Slide under and stab it. Oh, I'm gonna face it. Oh, kid. Dude, this. You're a Mando now, kid. Get down! Alright, that there's, wasn't Din as a child. <laughs> there's two of them. 
Was there two of them? No, I thought there was only one. It looked like it went by twice. Ah! Yes! So this is a whole new GUTS! Yeah. Man, I love killing turtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. Took it out with. How about yes? Three seconds. Ah, what an entrance! Great entrance, man. I'm so in turtle alligator. The apostate. The apostate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this inscription not Mandalorian? Some work. Mm -hmm. And this relic only proves that Mandalore's entire surface has been crystallized by fusion rays. Okay. If I visit the planet and I can bring you proof that I have bathed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore, the decree of exile will be lifted and I would be redeemed. This is the way. <laughs> Please. <laughs> right? <laughs> This is the way. Yeah. All right. Now we're on our quest. Is that a pergil? It's a pergil! That's so cool! Whales! Yes! <laughs> Whoa! You crap, man! You're on Waste Squad, and you know we're nerds. That this is, oh my gosh. Oh, there's a whole There's herd. a whole, it's a pod, Aaron. A could pod. have called it pods. They could be setting up Ezra stuff. You know, it could be. They do travel could be. Herds, They do. <sighs> Navarro, all right. <sighs> what help does he need from? Yeah, I wonder why he's going to Navarro first. Man, this place has prospered. Look at this place. Yeah. No more of those rat dog things running around. It's so around. prosperous. <laughs> it is. Grief is amazing. Look at that droid, that cook droid. Oh, cool. <laughs> we you saw, saw one of those in yeah. below. It's great. And then the uh, attack of the clothes. <gasps> Whoa, what was that? Ah, oh, monkey. <laughs> 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 that would be Quick so, and monkey that would be so annoying to have <laughs> around the city. <laughs> It'd be like starlings <laughs> shitting on you. Uh, Mando! Mando. Man, look at him! He's got, he got a little droid he's got back droids here. with his cage. Your timing couldn't be any worse. But it's just that there's someone here to see you. It can wait. But it's pirates! Pirates? Pirates in the courtyard. Get out of I'm, not huh. I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm not getting my hopes up. Come on, Vane. That'll be enough of that. Oh, Charles so Vane? Look at him. Yeah, right. It looks like Charles Vane. You paid us for murder and mayhem inside these doors. You want a quick draw, huh? Is Grief gonna quick draw against him? <coughs> Still carries iron. Try me. The magistrate is gonna draw. He's quick. The costuming is so good. I love yes. his outfit so much. It's excellent. That makeup is so also, good. That pirate outfit's really good yeah. too. Yeah, vain. It looks so piratey. Know the guy's voice. Pirate guy. Oh, he didn't kill him. Yeah. Dude, Grief's just playing in game now. He is. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were here on business. What can we provide? What does he need? I like this guy so much. Even then, he didn't argue. Oh, I'm sorry. I need him right. back. That's real parts. I need a droid I can trust to help me explore Mandalore. He wants Is he that trying one. to get him back? He only trusts one droid. What if he goes back to his original programming? That would be not Whoa, good. Oh, this is cool. Subparagraph 16 of the Bondsman Guild Protocol for the Bondsman Guild. Immediately produce you. Set it out. Yep, yep. Oh, 
Uh, oh no. <laughs> and you were out of money. Oh, let's take stop motion. <laughs> Yeah, it went back to its original program. It like reset itself, you know. Great. It is him. Good job, Droid. Well, that was scary. YG11. Now that's using your head. <laughs> that's like a James Bond that's thing. A, that's a you line, Eric. It's a James Bond. I got it from him. I got it from him. <laughs> Fortunately, Navarro has attracted the best droid smiths of the outer okay. rim. They'll have IG back to his... Look at the little door. Anzellan? Who? The Anzellans. Yes. Anzellans. Oh my gosh. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> They're like, they giving me like the same height. Is it Babu? I don't know. I want to know if it's... Oh, there's a bunch. No, no, no. The book. Mando, he said he can't fix it. <laughs> I love this. This is so fucking cool. Uh, what if I find you the part? Okay, now, then Dude, no this is such a video game. Quest on, quest on quest on quest. He can fix it. No, 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 no. Is he gonna eat him? Quit hugging him. Not you might try to eat him. No, I think he's just friend. <laughs> <laughs> Bad baby. Bad baby. <laughs> no, Grogu. You know what? They remind me of. I the, love that <laughs> shit so much. <laughs> Those guys remind me of the little fairies from Willow. Yeah. They remind me. They remind me of uh, Men in Black. Yeah. yeah, yeah so. The worms. <laughs> and this. Uh oh. Is your radar proximity warning indicator? Hang on, cool. kid. We got pirates. Pirate, yeah, they had the pirates. Back for revenge. Mandalorian. You said a mask. You can't home. just sneak away after cutting down four of my brothers in cold blood. All right, space battle. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. After it's him. So fast. Dude, it's right. much faster All than these you. asteroids too. Three marks at two ten. Voice. His face. You can't replace it by just Jeez, mouth in the eyes. Dude, all the costumes. Has anyone got eyes on the Mandalorian? Not yet. <laughs> it's like a Batman kill. <laughs> it was! Guy goes behind a corner. And, oh, oh, oh. oh, he's popping out of holes. Oh, oh crap! No. Oh, look at Oh, no. Orion Shard. Yeah. Dang, fair. Check the beam. They have a target king. lock on us. Oh, my gosh. That's a cool Where ship. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. What is that? Outgunned. I have no quarrel with you, Gordian Shard. What is that? He's a swamp thing. Fast. Oh, but that, the right there in Navarro. That design was so cool. It kind of made me think of like uh, Davy Jones and stuff. So you got Swamp Thing, Davy Jones. It's another planet in the Mandalorian system. And that name? is a Mandalorian Calibala. castle. Mandalorian castle? Calabala. Is that the Catan Crest? I believe so. You said that the curse was a lie. Make up your mind. Hmm. If you want to go to the mines, be my guest. They're beneath the Civic Center in the city of Sundari. Sundari. And I will find out if the planet is really poisoned. <laughs> Goodbye, Din Djarin. Okay. A lot of sense. So he still has the. Oh no, it's oh, over! Wow. That Rick. was not long enough. Yeah, that was a short one, but dense. Look at this. Oh, I forgot about all the hurt. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, that was our reaction. We're gonna be jumping into the discussion right now, and then also, if you are interested, Aaron and I are gonna be appearing on uh, Star Wars Explained today with their Mandalorian after show. So mm -hmm. make sure you're checking out that out as well. Six p.m. is when it starts. Yeah, Eastern time. All right, so uh, we did get an episode where it feels like it's a lot of setup for the things that we're going to be doing. We have um, a lot of quest season. markers. A lot of quest markers, right? <laughs> Filling in that notebook. <laughs> yep. But for me, the highlight, I think just uh, living and breathing inside the Mando world again is, is, is amazing, but it was really just the production. It feels I think like the characters were really good, yeah. right? Like all the alien species I thought yeah. looked really good. The outfits. I love Grief's outfit. Yeah, Vane. Vane is like what Clone Wars didn't really get a chance to do with uh, <clears throat> with Hondo's henchmen. They were all kind of just like weak ways, you know? Sure. But Vane felt like a real character, like singular to himself. So. I wonder if they named him after Charles Vane. They have to have. That's it's, my first thought. He's right? a pirate it's and so he's good. Vane, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> no. Fuck no. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I loved uh, Gorian Shard's design was one of my favorite alien designs we've had in a so long time. Weird. In a long time. It's, yeah. Like that's the kind of stuff. I mean, I, I know that we can get excited about a whole bunch, a bunch of stuff about Star Wars, and some people can get very upset about stuff with Star Wars. But for me, I just absolutely love character design in Star Wars because it it hits sci-fi, it hits fantasy, it hits these kind of like archetypes, and mm -hmm. that one is just. Gnarly man. I just love new stuff yeah. too. Like getting <laughs> like he's got algae beard and it's just so cool. And it's all real, it looks like. Like the prosthetic. Like I personally like whenever I see Trandos in this and Book of Boba Fett, like they feel a little more like it's hard to do what they did in Clone Wars and Bad Batch or have we seen Trandos act and stuff, but that Nikto and this thing, like so much expression coming out of these uh, there's a bags. warthog man back there. Yeah, <laughs> warthog man. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even see him. I was too uh, glued oh, to this guy. Uh, there's a there's a pod racer. That's that species, I think. Right? Is there? Yeah, I think. Let me let me double check. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you cut that out if he's not. I know. Bad <laughs> <laughs> in front of Star Wars Explained. Be like, you fool. <laughs> uh, Dud Bolt. I don't know. I could see it. Uh, maybe maybe not. That's a duck guy. Uh, That's the closest I could get. You gotta give me a little credit. He's just a duck with hooks on his bill. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, dude, I was also, I loved seeing the, uh, what is it, Anzellans? The Anzellans, yeah. I thought oh, that scene man. was so much fun. It, it really was... made me think of like the fairies from like Willow and stuff yeah. that we saw recently. The, bra the brownies? Yeah, the brownies, yeah. 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 Well, I got I the baby! baby. <laughs> I was like, the bad baby, bad baby. You yeah. broke, the broke. Yeah, it <laughs> like, broke. It's just funny. I love it. I, I love grief. Just he's so funny. Just like in that immaculate outfit, looking through leaning a hole down and saying obviously what they just said. And Mando's just, I'm calmer now. I'm not the angry guy I used to be. I, I yeah. Thank, thanks. Yeah, I got it. I got, I got it. it. I I don't know why it didn't click initially, but like they were there. And then it cut to grief inside his little little door that he's looking through. Yeah. And then when it cut back to Mando, he's like sitting in his tiny little room. Yeah. I thought that was great. I love that so much. And then Grogu either, at first I thought he was going to eat, like, like frogs, right? Like, eat yeah. one of those little guys, but maybe he just wants a friend. That would be a hell of a thing. Or he thought it was a pet, they said, too, right? He's not yeah. a pet. He's not a pet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we also had Pergo in in the hyperspace. Oh, man. That's just a reward, I feel like, for, for long-time fans to, to see something like that. And, like, you know, maybe like a sign. If it has absolutely them. nothing to do with anything, yeah. I think it's just a fun, at the very least, just yeah, in the like, in the universe, right? You're just like it's like the majestic of this yeah. this space area, right? It's yeah. just it's one and of the wonders that you can see, kind of thing. Like for more the animals, for more casual fans, they can be like, "Huh, I never really seen anything like that before." That's yeah. maybe there's a lot more mystery to Star Wars than I kind of think about. Yeah, right? you know what? Mm -hmm. Some casual fans are gonna be like, "Animals can't be in hyperspace." <laughs> You're this right. is dumb. I hate it now. <laughs> there's gonna be people that don't like everything. It sure. happens. In the original trilogy, there's a worm living in a rock. Exactly. Like there's no atmosphere there. <laughs> there's Minox inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like no, it's there's, very, there's uh, flying creatures inside of the belly of a giant worm that is living in an apple of an asteroid. Yeah. Right? So I'm like just, if if you have problems with that kind of stuff, I'm like, push up. I don't know. But for any extra context, if you don't know, the pergola are a, an animal that can travel through hyperspace. In fact, ancient navigators were inspired by the pergola to enter hyperspace. So sure. it's kind of it's kind of like an Avatar: The Last Airbender thing, where it's like 
you know, the the, the it's Earth a, Kingdom it's a very, was taught how to. It's know. a very Dave Filoni yeah, thing. Very, <laughs> yeah, they have a Dave thing there. So, and there's a lot of things with hyperspace that we don't understand too. That some of the books have been slowly talking about, and they give yep. a mysterious aspect to that. As it's well. not, yeah, it's not just going fast. You're literally well, going into a different. Yeah. Even Rise of Skywalker reality. touches on some of that kind of stuff with yeah. their uh, with the warp jumping, with the light call speed it? skipping, light speed skipping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very dangerous. Very fast. Very, very dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> oh man, the uh, turtle monster attack in the beginning. I, uh, I mean, we've seen like the crate dragon and stuff, mm-hmm. but I know. I haven't seen Avatar The Way of Water yet, you know, and I know that made a lot of strides when it comes to CG water and, sure. and look and stuff, but the, the thing that I always love to look at with CG and water is, one, are the actors actually wet? Because oftentimes you'll have water all around them, but they're not wet because you can't really do that yet. Um, so if you want them to be wet, you have to have real water in there, but when you have real water in there, that's immediately going to be compared to the fake water you're putting yeah. in. So all the composite lines were so invisible for me. I couldn't tell really. I mean, I know they're filming real costumes in real water, but they also, that water has to interact with the water being sloshed about by this giant turtle. Like, it's really complicated. <laughs> I feel like you're the guy Harrison Ford was talking about in the original trilogy. Yeah. Where it's like, it's not that kind of movie, kid. They know your hair's not wet. We're all in big trouble. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just I just thought of that when yeah. you're like, I think they're all wet, you know? <laughs> just, you know, having putting just a small toe in the visual effects uh, yeah. arena, like I can do, I just want to make sure that we're appreciating how much hard work goes into just that one sequence. And yeah. we had some pretty impressive sequences. We had the asteroid dog fight. We had the turtle fight at the beginning. We had these incredible set pieces and it all looked yeah. flawless. And it's a television show. This is not sure. a movie with a movie budget. No. You sure. know? No, I get you. I, mean, I don't know what budget they gave like the season or anything, yeah. but I mean, I, I was, I'm sure it's the highest it's been. I was quite impressed with Navarro, the outfits, the aliens. Yeah. Like, yeah, they completely rebuilt anything that they had for Navarro. They redressed it, it at, looks at the very least. It looks incredible. Yeah. Like, the arch is the only thing that I really recognize yeah. as being Navarro. Everything else. I don't remember seeing any green like that. No. <laughs> it's incredible. He I'm, deserves to be high magistrate. He yeah. does. He has I done so much work. he finds a marshal. Honestly, if we fix the IG droid, you make him the marshal. Right? He would be <laughs> He would be the one. His memory core is damaged. But my, my worry right now is just the idea of, uh, like, those pirates. Are, that was the mining facility, I think, for Navarro. Yeah. Right, so like they're right there. Yeah, so, um, like they don't have a marshal, they don't have any protection. I don't know if they, they don't want to call the uh, the new what they say, new republic, new republic. Yeah, they don't want to new republic work. Oh, uh, the main thing, yeah. Uh, we had a mention of Cara Dune, got that out of the way. Mm-hmm. She's with the special forces now, which sure. she was a drop trooper, uh, for the rebellion. So I guess that, that I'm curious on if they'll do anything else with her, or if it's just kind of like she sent off, she's gone. And I think they're probably just gonna be like, eh. We got other stuff to deal with. There's a lot sure. going on. <laughs> There's a lot of other moving yeah. parts. Ooh. And then they, oh, good. Oh, man. Uh, what's his name? Bill Burr. He would be a great marshal. <laughs> He'd be uh, like, I've seen so much shit. I'm not yeah. putting up with this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I why am I blanking M? <sighs> an M. Yeah. Um, Migs yeah. Mayfield. Migs Mayfield. Was That's, thank Migs you. Migs Mayfield. Mayfield. Let Mayfield go. Dang it. He's here. I saw Luke here, I'm like, oh, obviously before that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I want Mayfield to be the marshal. I think Marshall Mayfield has a ring to it. Yeah, he's uh, he's dead, though. <laughs> yeah, he <doesn't... laughs> Officially, right? In the eyes of the New Republic. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if that would work. Though, this is an independent colony, yeah. right? Yeah. On the Hidian I think way. that's I, I think yeah. that's the whole point of, like, yeah. not being under the thumb of the New Republic is just... You know, people who want to be here and, yeah. and make a new start and yeah. make this better, yeah, they get a clean slate. But you got to deal with some pirates. Sure. It was cool. To, it's always cool to get little mentions of, like, the Hidian Way and all these, you know, old-time Star Wars terms for hyperspace lanes and stuff like that. Uh, we got that in there. Mm-hmm. And then Is it also, Hidian or Hydean? It's Hydean, Hidian. I was thinking of it like they're You're going to hear me saying this. Right? I've only ever read in a book. <laughs> No, not again. But you just heard grief say it I here. Know, but my my dumb memory trumps the recent. Yeah, sure. I know. Hopefully, I can change. I, I don't know. I think the idea of hiding in like it's hiding away. Yeah, hiding right? away. I, I was yeah. like, okay, maybe that's what they're going kind of hiding or away. Hylian. Hylian. Oh, the shields in the in the world. Yeah. And the, Does that help? 
It does. Good. I'll still say it the same way, probably. Oh, doesn't help. Uh, we had Moff Gideon, who's at a New Republic Tribunal. We'll see yep. if he ends up coming back or not. Both of our characters who were talking about it seemed yeah. like, ugh. Yeah. Like, that's either going to take way too long to get any justice, or the justice that they get is not going to be, like, you know, and be like, well, why bother taking him there? They're just going to give him a slap on the wrist and let him go kind of thing. I mean, what we know from the sequel trilogy, and it makes a lot of sense, like, the high Re the New Republic is going to be, like, on edge when it comes to how do we deal with stuff? Do we do, are we doing the right thing? Like, think about as much anxiety Luke has to, like, bring back the Jedi. The New Republic probably has the same amount of anxiety of, like, bringing so back the last Republic. time <laughs> we screwed up, we became a fascist empire. <laughs> you well, know? we screwed up so badly. So they probably, yeah, maybe, maybe I, it seems like the X-Wing pilots are out there doing good stuff, but I don't yeah. know how uh, effective a New Republic tribunal is. We'll see. Yeah, it, they, it's not like they handle the First Order very well. No, uh, and it, they probably want to... And the First uh, Order, cut off their head. Shy away from, like, uh, retaliatory punishment. Probably. You know? Yeah. And as we know, I mean, there are little uh, remnants of the Empire out there, like we saw last season. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, man. There is. And then Catan doesn't yeah, have though. any... Didn't have anyone, I guess. They all, they all left. She didn't have the dark saber. Din still has it, so that's good. But I'm curious yeah. what the route of this saber is going to be, and I don't know. I'm kind of also curious on what we do with the idea of like a Mandalore. Like, if we do get back to the the planet and find that it's not poisoned and destroyed, and we can still live there, yeah. Do we also like get a new Mandalore with like whoever has a saber, and could that be Din or? Could that be Boba, or, you know, could it be Bo? Yeah, Boba have to fight over You him? know what they have to do. Bo needs to challenge, uh, I just had his fucking name, Mandalorian. Din. 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 Din to combat yeah. to, for the, the saber. And then, like, he has to be losing, and and Bo's like, no, I you can't, like, fake it. I need to win this honorably. And then, like, maybe... Grogu like steps in and like protects him and is like then he forfeits it. Yeah. I'm like, dang it. Uh, it's interesting her like she like has lost her hope to yeah. get that back. I mean we know that she had it, right? She, Sabine gave it to her in Rebels. But that also <laughs> wasn't like earned earned, right? It, it wasn't. And then she well, loses yeah. it. So in the eyes of the Mandalore, they're like, Alright, go earn it now. Go get it. And then Den has it. I imagine that she's just become incredibly dejected with herself, like I've yeah. lost my chance to do it, yeah. right? Well, in, in the eyes of the other Mandalorians, their belief on it, she didn't win it the way you're supposed to, yeah. and she didn't yeah. get it back when she was supposed to. And I imagine, like, even if in complete earnest, they, he, Dim was like, I will fight as hard as I can, some other Mandalorians might, or could have heard, or might be like, you know, he just gave it to her, right? Sure. She just gets her power sure. given to her, I mean, you know? Boba, Boba her shows up and dies, he takes you know, it from like, him, and bo beats Boba. Yeah. There you go. She must have this complex of feeling like the second, you know, like we, we've had con, uh, the concept of in, in Game of Thrones, the second sons, right? Yeah. Like, you know, she would be this younger sister to uh, Sabine. Sabine. Um, or I'm sorry, Satine. Yes. Satine. Yeah. Yeah. Satine. <laughs> yeah. That got uh, me a lot when we were going yeah. through Clone Wars I know, and Rebels. I know. Yeah. I but didn't. being that younger and then with her gone, feeling like I should be, like it should be my right to leave my people just like my sister did. And then yeah. this religion, you know, like all this stuff, she does really feel like this a cult. She yeah, feels like a, Christ yeah. a Christmas Catholic. You guys know a Christmas Catholic? Yeah. Like they only go to, to Mass Christmas and Easter the rest of the year. They don't really care about it, but they take advantage and all the privileges of being part of their religion and faith. But they don't really take it very seriously. But they're the first ones that show up for the Knights of the Columbus meetings, and they're the first ones that are getting the you know the diocese political power. But they're not really there for the faith, and I kind of feel like Bo is kind of like that. I'm not saying she's wrong about it or anything, but I think in the eyes of uh, the children of the Watch, that's probably how she's seen. Sure, I mean the way she talks about them, and like you know, it's their the, fault. The beliefs that they had yeah. before the purge and everything. Sure, yeah. like. There's a lot like, of issues. Like having she has a lot of resentment for all of the the factions that s split away from Mandalore. Yeah. Well, like, and, like they just kept dividing by half yeah. until there was yeah. nothing left. Yeah, having the Death Watch and stuff and the problems they cause and everything, and then this is, there's a Vizsla here and this yeah. and this, even the one that Din is affiliated with, right? The, mm -hmm. the, the covert or the whatever covert, yeah, it's called. So there's just that line I think of history that she has and she views them one way. Yeah. And I think Din is more 
open to compromise with different things too. Like mm-hmm. it felt like he came here like I'm wanting to join you. Like I don't think he holds any ill will to them. No. Even though they have a different Mandalorian belief yeah. than what he has, you know. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Hopefully Din and maybe that would be a good way for him to be a Mandalorian or be Mandalore. Right, like he could maybe bring more of the Mandalorians together from like Bo Katan yeah. and her group and who he has, but also what we had with Book of Boba. I like the way that he's like, I want to run things and be a leader. I'm like, he could be a cool Mandalore too, you know? He so, could be. I, I would like both of them as Mandalores, uh, but I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah, there's a lot of great potential <laughs> yeah. for for this. Not only for this show, but Grogu is the type of character that can last in Star Wars for. A, very thousand long time. years. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, we're going to jump into some Q and A's uh, that we're hosting over at Twitter with Mandalorian hashtag Mandalorian Q and A. All right, the first one is from Heesh Farm, who says, "Do you guys think we'll get the droid working? And if so, how will they travel with only the N one Starfighter? And with the intro of the pirates, will we get a Hondo cameo?" And Purgle, my mind exploded. Yeah, that's a lot of questions. That's a lot of questions, but I understand the hype, and thank you so much okay. for watching. Yes, strap him to the ship. It was cool. It was cool. He did it. I was gonna say the ship thing too, because I'm like, he doesn't need to breathe. Yeah, so yeah. As long as he doesn't fall off, I mean, you're good. <laughs> IG droids are notoriously extremely hard. He's self-destructed, and he's mostly still together. I know. <laughs> I thought he'd like be the very like, point of the self-destructing is to not yeah, be recoverable. I did think he'd be in a lot more pieces. Although right? you could like see on his, was like, on his chest, there yeah. were like a lot of weld marks. Yeah. I think they did take the original parts and then like try to piece them together. Yeah, I okay. bet but, you it's expensive. I bet you it's like well, it's probably not worth it. Just buy a new droid, but. Literally, Mando only trusts. Like, this droid has seen his face. This sure. droid... O- he only trusts this droid. Yeah. He hates droids. As far as Din is concerned, that droid has a soul, and he's trying to get that soul back. I know. Now, if he needs other droids to help, please take the cape droids. <laughs> 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 the cape droids were so cool. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if they're useful, but yeah. No, I think the, uh, the idea of having the IG droid could be really cool. Yeah. I'm not against just... Getting him back, having to oh. do a quest in a minute. Not like Darth Vader be- shot R2 with his TIE Advance yeah. ship, and we got him back, you yeah. know? Yeah. It, we're going to be okay. Darth Vader also burned alive and lost all his limbs, and he was turned into a robot, and he came back. Somehow, Palpatine returned. Yeah. So he <laughs> back. And he was thrown down a well. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, nerds. I think, I think having, having an IG droid coming back and using this one, like yeah. especially knowing the history we have with Din and how much he doesn't like droids, and yeah. the super battle droid kind of flashbacks and stuff that we've mm-hmm. had with him. Yep. It fits in everything, and I, I like him. I, I was kind of sad he died before, you know? Uh, sucks that Maul got cut in half, and, and Qui-Gon just... He just got a little poke. Just a little poke. Nothing you can do. Yeah, but there were vital organs. He got cut down here, and there's no vital organs down there. He got cut in half like here. That's your guts. That's all your guts. Yeah. Calvin but, rage. But Qui Gon was. No. Yeah. Qui Gon lives in the moment. In that moment, he, he knew was, it was time for him to go. He wanted Darth to join Maul the living force. I to know. Accept the moment I know. I just love it so him so much. <laughs> I was going to say, Qui Gon wasn't angry enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm angry for him. Remember he the Grand Inquisitor alive. when he came back and Obi Wan? He's like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't like that type of stuff. I personally love it. Like I can both love something, take it very seriously, and realize this is you know these are movies in space about space wizards and cowboys. Yeah. Come on, have fun, have some fun. Adam says, "Wouldn't it be cool if since they can't get IG 11s memory unit working, they turn him into a suit for Grogu?" <laughs> A, a mech suit for Grogu. Like the one bounty hunter from the Clone Wars? Uh, yeah. Remember him? Yeah, in the... Uh, oh, shoot, what's his name? It was like the yeah. Seven Samurai kind of... Uh, yeah. Uh, in that village episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't remember his name, but I, I can understand what you mean. Yeah. I need to. Like, there was Embo in them and stuff there, yeah. too. But yeah, he was like inside that. He had like... Yeah. But I don't know. I just, Grogu already has a force. He can do that wavy hand thing. He does. I'm interested to see what they do with that. Yeah. He, he did a little bit this episode. You know, like he sucked that skittle up. He did. He, he's definitely getting better. He even playing with himself with the, in the chair, right? Yeah. So like, yeah. he's used the force a lot more in this he than he had past seasons. Mm-hmm. Next question is from J Train Thirteen. He says, "Okay, so getting my immense disappointment that the pirate gang wasn't led by Hondo out of the way, we do know from Rebels that Hondo somehow lost his crew. Do you think that Gorian Shard might have been the cause?" There definitely were some weak ways among Shard's crew. I mean, for it's all a, we know, 
he could be working for Gorian yeah. now and just yeah. biding his time to take over. We he also could. have the entire original trilogy in between, like Rebels yeah. where he was to this yeah. and stuff. So like, it's hard to tell where he could be. Or he, you know, he also helped with the uh, the Rebels taking yeah. over Lothal. Maybe he's not quite as piratey anymore either. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a big galaxy. There's a lot of pirates out oh, there, man. especially for He'd be good Marshall Indi- too. <laughs> <laughs> I know crime. There's, is there any profit in it? Uh, but I should say, like, that's going to be a consequence of Grief not allying with the New Republic. Is you don't get that protection, you don't get that, you don't get those uh, resources. Those resources. So you got this is what you're going to have to do. Sure. Neutral systems deal with pirates all the time. Hire and there's no Jedi around, really. Hire Gorian to be your protection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Privateers, right? Maybe. All right, Guy underscore says, now that Goff Midian is dealt with, who and what kind of... What? Goff Midian. Did I do that? Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> I do the same thing. Now I that make a big deal. Gideon is dealt with, who and what kind of main villain do you uh, think we'll have now? Will we move away from the Empire to pirates or have another empire, uh, Imperial villain or a Mandalorian villain, etc.? I mean, this pirate group could be a, a villain for now, even for the season, you know? Yeah. Like, they don't have to be a... It doesn't have to be, like, an ongoing mm-hmm. multiple seasons or anything like sure. that. Sure. And it doesn't have to be, like, a galactic-scale villain mm-hmm. either. Like, sure. it can just be for Navarro. Yeah. Like, and I we, gotta save Navarro from this guy. Yeah, and we don't know what Goff is gonna be doing. No. Like, he's at, he's with the tribunal. We don't know what his sentence is gonna be. Yeah, like, if, if Moff Gideon gets out of there and, uh, I don't know, Goes looking again for Grogu, or wh- who yeah. is there? Someone else besides Gideon that wanted Grogu as well. Like, who, was he working for someone higher up or anything? Or I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure in terms of antagonists where we're gonna go. I mean, I, I really do feel like we're gonna follow this theme of with Bo-Katan being like it's it's people like you and cults like you that ruined <clears throat> us. Din Jaren, when he reveals his face to to, to Grogu. He, he doesn't feel in his heart of hearts that he did the wrong thing. Like, he loves this baby and wanted to share his face with him. Because mm-hmm. what he thought was the last time he was going to see him. I want to do that. So even though his belief tells him that was wrong, I think his heart tells him it was right. And if he is going to be a leader, if he is going to be Mandalore, he might need to deal with a lot of his beliefs. Maybe that's going to be a real antagonist this season is, like, his own baggage. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I think it'd be cool to have another Mandalore who's a Jedi. Like, it'd be cool. Maybe Grogu's another Mandalore tiny, possibility. Tiny you know? Mandalore. And then there's a Mandalore for a thousand years. You don't need quite <laughs> such a big mythosaur to ride. Yeah. No, you don't. I like that idea, though. Like it is. He will, have a, he will have a clan that lasts a thousand years. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's funny. Careful. <laughs> yeah, no, right? Well, and then, like, you're right. I didn't think about it. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the real UC says Mando is back. The journey of the apostate has begun. Good first episode. Love the opening sequence and the tiny glimpse of the Purgle. Question Do you think this was the last of Bo Katan? And question Who do you think is the mystery person who found the shard from Mandalore Mines? Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, not with Bo Katan. I think Bo. Uh, is just really rocked and doesn't really know where she fits in yeah. when it comes to this stuff. Like, you know, she has she. I feel like she had a position of privilege because she was the sister, the leader of Mandalore. And even though their beliefs obviously didn't match up, I think she still kind of felt owed that she should be the leader. Sure. To the point where someone literally gave her like, like you would be better at this than me. I mean, you're so positioned. So her failing at this is probably one of her first, not first, but her most, biggest, most recent like. I, I, I can't do this. Yeah. Feeling. And I, I think the idea of Mando going to Mandalore and Sundari, and if he brings back any proof, yeah. I feel like it's, Bo's got to be involved. Yeah. So I don't think she's just done and gone now. No. no. Yeah. And then uh, the mystery person who found the shard from the Mandalore mines. It's a great point. He said he found it from Jawas. Uh, so, and Jawas just collect junk and sure. trash from people. But who or went they, to Mandalore? they rob you. Who went to Mandalore to get that to begin with, you know? I think... Yeah. Right after this, we're gonna watch Bad Batch. I think the Bad Batch go there <laughs> with their with their new treasure hunting friend. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Shiny. Uh, it appears to be some ancient text. Yeah. So ancient text, and then the she said that the shard was evidence of uh, fusion. 
fusion ray yeah, or something fusion like rays that. Crystallized, crystallized by fusion rays. Because it goes with because I said about crystal, Calvin said about glass, and yeah. I'm like, Calvin's right. They said that they had glass the whole planet or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So it's just kind of that's what they use or do with it, you know? Yeah. Christian Yancey says, "Do you think we will see flashbacks of the Mandalor- Mandalorian civil wars this season?" It would be awesome to see a younger Jango Fett and his mentor, Jaster Muriel, uh, fighting against the Death Watch. Hmm. Throw in some mantras for Bounty Hunter fans back in the day, too. Uh, I would love to see some Jango Fett action. Jango <laughs> Fett in his... Maybe that's something that you wait for the Boba Fett episode in The Mandalorian. <laughs> That'd be fun. I don't know. And so like, how, you have to go back before episode two, then, yeah. to get a Jango with his mentor. Yeah, with the Civil Wars. By Daniel Logan! <laughs> Yes. Hey, hey guys, what's up? Right? Yep. Make him be, be a middle-aged. Make him be younger Boba with a mentor or whatever. Yeah. Like, that could work. It'd be great. I'd be happy. You know that guy's waiting for that phone after hearing this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you hear about these blind white guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we'll end with uh, Kintao Rion, who says, Animated Star Wars fans are about to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, how awesome was that glimpse they gave us? Do you think... Din's journey will lead him to accept. Uh, will lead him to accept to give up on the way. Will he actually rule Mandalore? I think he might. I think define what the way means to all Mandalorians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think that's probably more likely going to be his yeah. course. Dude, if he gets rebirthed as a Mandalorian mm-hmm. and has a dark saber and becomes Mandalore, then yeah, like he yeah. can kind of start just. He can just all change it, it right? the way he wants to. It's like <clears throat> this helmet thing is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the answer. I don't know what I was yeah. <laughs> well, that's the last Q&A. If you guys don't mind, uh, because we do reactions and oftentimes we're so excited about what's going on, I have a hard time remembering like the music for the first time. I kind of want to go back to watch that Pearl scene just a little bit, and I want to hear what the sound is like and stuff too, because Rebels had obviously the sound and a little bit of the of a the- like a musical theme for them. Further- yeah, it's after this. It's like I just kind of want to watch it one more time with, with everybody here on Wave Squadron. So, but it's certainly the a, thing a, I like. It, it evokes something. Listen, yeah. that little trill yeah. just makes me think of the Rebels Force sound they yeah. always did. Yeah. It's not exactly like it, but it just they had like a, a little trill, and then there just had like a little trill. They yeah, I just thought of that. Yeah. There's something about just the way the the tentacles are moving slowly through hyperspace that just feels so ethereal. It it's, feels so underwater. But yeah, it's like yeah. A, yeah. I mean, yeah, they have that yeah. water feel to them, and their tentacles are just. I truly. Can't wait to watch some other reaction channels that have no, no idea what they just saw. Yeah. I cannot wait. <clears throat> hmm. Let me see. Who, who do I know of? I don't know. Some, yeah. Like, what, I can what, think of one piece. What the, <laughs> what's the normie reaction? I don't know. Watch? <laughs> They're not there yet, right? You can't blame them. No. Yeah. All right. Well, that was an amazing, amazing episode. It sure. was. Well, I enjoyed it. I'm excited to see what they do. And I just. Just having more stuff like this, like the, even like the Pergil thing, just to f- just filling things out. Not even if it's like, hey, here's a nod or an attachment to anything else. Yeah. It just has a majestic feel. Mm-hmm. I just really yes. enjoy that. Yeah. Just adding to Star Wars, yeah. where like as a kid, like I'm excited for my kids to watch this and be like, oh, those are Pergil, you know, like whoa, or just be like, what are those? Because if you don't know, it looks like what is that? Yeah, it's a weird tentacle. It's not a squid, you know, or. Like in your mind, you're building something in there, you know? Yeah, I know. Like, the they galaxy's put, a dark and scary place, but it can be amazing, too. I love how they put it to scale, too, yeah. against the N1. It's, yeah. it's like a tiny little thing in this giant fucking... It's it's probably bigger than, than yeah. Goran's ship, right? Probably. We need to loop this somehow and put it in the back of the set. Yeah. <laughs> Downstairs. That'd be great. That'd be a perfect one. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, all right. All right, guys, we have a poll as well for this episode. You can uh, check out patreon.com slash blindway. Vote in the poll. Leave comments. We'll talk about that beginning of next episode. This time we want to know, do you think that we will get IG fixed and going again? Um, The options we're going to have are yes, he'll be like we had before at the end of season one. Mm -hmm. Yes, but 
He'll be like a new droid with a new memory circuit, so he's going to be a Factory little different, fresh. right? But not all murders, so that'd be good. Yeah. Or no, we won't get him fixed at all, and it's just not going to work. We'll have to abandon the whole thing. Or we make a suit for the <laughs> 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 Guys, thank you very much for checking out the Mandalorian reaction right here at Waste Squadron. We put a lot of effort into making some videos that are out in this last two days, so you can check out, get an idea of what this channel is going to be like. We think you're going to have a lot of fun. Please subscribe. That way you never miss another video, especially Star the rest Wars. of uh, yeah, season three.